three things to keep in mind. One, keep the project simple. I cannot emphasize that enough. Number two, don't jump into coding. As soon as you have an idea, don't just go jump and start coding. I strongly recommend that you first have a very clear view as to what your outputs should be. And then work backwards to the inputs. And uh, basically you're stitching the entire pipeline from left to right and um, uh, anticipate any potential pitfalls and plan accordingly. Um, number three, have fun. Um, I hope uh, we'll all do very, very well and succeed. I'm actually looking forward to seeing some of these uh, um, projects. Thank you and uh, see you all soon. Bye. Um, here's some uh, advices that I, I wish uh, someone told me when I was starting in my career. I think you can apply to this hackathon. Um, first is um, instead of starting um, you know, a business or, or an idea based on a new technology, first I think you, you have to focus on the problem you want to solve and how you're going to apply technology like for instance AI uh, to you know, provide a better solution. Um, second, it's uh, start from the desired uh, end result and then work uh, backwards to the beginning. Um, and that's, of course, after you have a good uh, understanding uh, of the problem you want to solve. Um, that's the most efficient way uh, to come up with a solution in the you know, uh, minimum uh, amount of time. So uh, I believe that the guidance uh, from mentors might benefit development of projects uh, by helping identify uh, useful uh, benchmarks or uh, reference that are related to the project. And it's also important to uh, give some uh, feedback uh, on planning and also like breaking break it down the, the project into uh, smaller and intermediate uh, pieces and deliverables uh, so that a more iterative and trial and error approach could be applied. Uh, it's also important to uh, identify uh, possible uh, knowledge gaps in the, in the team and possibly uh, incentivize uh, participants to uh, join or uh, even merge teams with uh, complementary skills uh, and on the, the needs as well. I'm expecting to see innovation projects with, um, with AI technology, obviously, but I think that the participants need to be disruptive. Okay, they need to be focusing. Okay, we have a problem to solve and we are not afraid about how we can solve the problem. So I think that we we need to be focusing, think really outside the box. Okay, just to we starting to uh, work with AI, it's a very good step because with the innovation, we, have, we are already thinking a little bit outside the box, but we need to think, okay, there is a problem we need to find a way to solve it. I think what really is something that I'm looking forward for, Eric, in this whole hackathon is there's a bunch of fresh minds and I would like to see where they're coming from, what is their creativity and not just looking at what's ha happening in the world. But I think there are very fresh minds, very fresh thoughts. And I think that gives a very diverse thinking on how businesses could evolve in these directions. And is this something that I could take back to my business saying that why don't we look at and transition our own because I think every organization is going through a digital transformation in some form and journey and I think these act hackathon give those pathways to think differently and I think that's the similar outcome that I'm looking at this one. At the end of this event I hope to see participants have a lot of learning in addition I would like to see AI products that have innovation and creativity to solve problems.
what I found really helpful is when people are able to really articulate the problems that they're trying to solve and see if the mentors can really help with the mentors network and also some of their experience. And so be specific about what you need and we'll be able to do great things. Thanks. I find the most effective start in a hackathon is to establish clear communication channels. This means setting up regular check-ins with your mentors and teammates and using messaging apps to stay in touch. By doing so, you can ensure that progress is moving forward and that everyone is on the same page. Next, collaborate and share ideas with your team members. Remember to be positive, inclusive, and build on each other's proposals. Enjoy your time and think beyond the hackathon to the relationships you might build through this shared experience. Then, identify your strengths and weaknesses and those of your teammates. Figure out early on who is good at what. By doing so, you can anticipate and fill gaps sooner than later. You should also use your mentors to help you. The first thing is to define a roadmap of the project with objective and milestone. I can help the team to scope the project, uh, guide them to explore new horizons, and if they are blocked sometimes, I can also, al also uh, unblock them. Uh, I can also uh, check uh, the milestone, challenge them, and review the final pitch and demo, of course, for the last final step. And my other uh, piece of advice is, is to avoid um, some of the common pitfalls, such as defining the project to be an Uber project, you know, scope of the project to be humongous um, and, and unrealistic timelines um, and, and haphazard uh, program management. Um, I think um, some of the very helpful things you'll find with the mentors uh, in this program uh, are, are very experienced people who can guide you, who can make you come to the correct conclusions um, and work towards successful execution of the program project. Yeah, so the most common pitfall which I observe from hackathons is that either the participants do not focus on the feasibility of the study which they do. So feasibility is one major uh, thing which they should focus on. And the next thing is uh, how they bring it or how their product is uh, given to the customers. Because most of the products are based on the business value, not on the customer value. So whatever solution uh, developed by the participants or the team members should be based on the customer value and not on the uh, business value. So these two are the major things where the participant has to concentrate on so that we develop a better solution which will be useful for the society and there will be an advancement in the technology as well.